Hey guys, my name is Jess. We're gonna give an updated base tour of this specific base. This one I believe is, well, let's see, one, two, three, uh oh, I'm gonna die here. Okay, good. Ha! I believe that is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors high, it seems to be. Seven floors high, seven floors in total, so about 21, 26 tiles high. 24 tiles high, whatever. So let's get into it. So the bottom floor is my production floor. Not really production. Mining and wood chopping floor. We have some springs here and there. I don't know why. Yeah, that one's probably going into that back one. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Go, go, go. Yeah. I normally give them the big one, but they don't seem to use the big ones. And I just litter the whole place with all these tiny ones. Oh, the poor dude. And, um, yeah, so we have the lumbering, we have the mining, all stations here, ores, sulfur, stone, and coal. They get to choose whatever they want to do. We have three woodcutting stations, or, well, a woodcutting station for three of them we have. I think the, the gnaws, no, we have laws right here, then we have regular artisan, and then we have whatever he is. We got the transport pals doing, going all over the place. Two crude oil stations, I didn't go for the multiples because I just suck at it and i got tired of trying <laughs> next floor is the production floor i guess you can say we got the we got the whetstone i this looks like a whetstone i guess not it's, a, it's the crusher we have the ranges and we have the furnaces and then we have more ranges and this is where all my food goes which is very nice i like how it's nice and simple to eat these guys will be consuming this one that one that one all the raws and then they have a bit of work speed that they can have for a boost but, um, actually, I'm gonna put these in the back. I want them to consume... Actually, I'll take that one. I want them to consume the work speed ones first and the sanity draining. Oh, wait, that's mine. That's also mine. Wait, why is that in there? You can eat the salads, and the cakes can be for later. Yeah, so they, I have practically every single food, technically. Um, so yeah, that's this floor. It's very nice. I made it a little bit different. This used to be filled with a bunch of big giant beds. I think in there, no, that's my ranch. Ranch, yeah. And these guys are just working up a storm, man. It's because I've been feeding them the Capris, so they haven't been having enough sanity replenishment and sanity reduction, so to speak. So now I kind of reorganized the food box for them. And yeah, this is their little... I guess resting habitat. I have 60 beds, 49 pals. Wait, what happened to my fifth, 50th pal? And then we have the ranch under here. We have beds under there. They don't ever seem to use the staircase. I wish that they did. Because it looks nice and it's nice and easy to use. And this is the main floor. Main floor as in like our, you know, waypoint floor, so to speak. We have our personal chests. We have... Well, this used to be my personal chest, but then I made it into a, like a localized chest for them to use. This one's my skill fruit one for whenever I go out and find skill fruits from from um you know PVM and stuff like that. Oh wait, I have fruits in here. I didn't know I had fruits in here. Why do I have fruits in there? Um, this is the AOE. Yep, everything. This is my ammo one. I have most of my ammo at my other base, and then this is my. Accessories, I guess? Accessories and some random stuff. And the PAL eggs are in those cargo containers. We have some more accessories in there. PAL condenser, statue, another statue, monitoring stand. This is the medicine for when I do my runs uh, at the... What is it called? That, that place. The raid ball. The raid base. There we go couple of workbenches and for those who are uh, curious on this this is my merchant headquarters I put the metal merchant there I put the black merchant there and then this is where all of the other merchants go there's a link in the description about it or rather in the corner and it talks about the merchant headquarters and whatnot and this is how I get out of the base easily with my runway I like runways it just it gets very laggy so there's that issue and this is also breeding. I have four, cage, four breeding pens, but I'm only using, I think, 
three. I have a spam. Up, oh, I'm using two. So this one on my perfects. You see the double 100 IVs, triple all over the place, and they have the exact same I uh, passives. So they're both jacked out of their minds. So I'll be able to get maybe one or two perfect IVs, and for hopefully perfect pal passives, perfect pals in general. And this was more of them, but I, I'm not gonna bother with it. This was my mill though, so whenever I buy wheat, with my money, 82 mil right now, normally have a lot more, but oops, I did not mean to pick that up. They did not get to this yet, I guess. Yeah, no, they didn't get to this yet. It's because I put in too many orders for the stone fragments. One of them is going to come up here. Hopefully someone comes up here and does not get stuck. I should have more cake in here. Yeah, I have a tiny bit of cake. Um, we got the range. We got another mill here, which I'll probably be destroying eventually. It's like a gander at my chests. I always put these cargoes right next to them. This just has extra stuff. I guess he's transporting it fine by me. Yep, here's the ranch. I don't know if I already talked about this ranch. Maybe I have two ranches. And this is, this is my old... This is my... This is kind of where I do my videos, actually. You see how this was my PAL sphere section for my PAL sphere video. She sphere, primitive bench, sphere, 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 sphere. And yeah, this is kind of where I host most of my, like, intros and whatnot. Unless I do them elsewhere. And then this floor is the sixth floor. This is my disassembly floor. Video in the description about these specific uh, disassembly lines. They are very, very fun to use. I love doing, I love using them. And I always use my yellow and green balls, plus a scatter to be able to capture the pals easily. And I go boom, boom. And look at all these balls. Every single one of these, we got 27 minus 15 equals 12. So it costs 12, it costs 15 balls when you chuck these out. Right, and I have I think five pens here. I wanted to make more, but then I had to dedicate most of the space to um, the viewing cages. But now I put them upstairs, and this is where a lot of the lag is. I have a lot of astagons like pooling outside of the base. We have the metal merchants here, and we have the black marketers here, and you can actually talk to them. These poor guys don't have to eat. And uh, yeah, so in this one, I have the tamers and I have some random pals that I captured. Extra merchants that I don't need to talk to or use, like these blue guys. And I think there was a green one. Yeah, two green ones in here. My fluids guy is in here, but he's just a regular wandering merchant. But look at this. We have the newbie guy. This one is was found in the eastern volcanic region. We have the shady one who like comes out of nowhere and you see a bunch of cows. I don't know why, what kind of like thing that's made for or whatever, but. And then we have the cruel pal tamer. This one's also here, the big meanie who like spawns with a bunch of relaxosaurus and just starts beating down a bunch of pals. And then we have the master pal tamer, the highest level in the game. This one's you can find practically anywhere. It's just like not frequently as all. Well. And, um, I, I do want to have a base dedicated to these guys, but they're just so useless. I wish they could be, like, mini U's where you could, where you're able to, you know, do all the tasks. Like, farm, woodcut, and stuff. They should make it so that these guys can do it, too. So that you can, or like, have, like, have them turn, turn a new leaf and, like, help take the reins over your pals and tell them what to do and whatnot. Like, that'd be so cool. And then here's just another free pal alliance but yeah this is my base and i really like this one i had to put the ingot walls around because it got really laggy like look how bad this lag is but look at it from the outside it's not that bad looks pretty nice i think it's all out of glass and i put the viewing distance really low so you can't really see much, but yeah, we are on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors high. You can go a little higher. I think the highest was 32 floors, 30, 30, 36 floors, um, or 36 tiles high. This one, I think, is 24 tiles high, 21 tiles high. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is my base. I personally like it a lot, and I made a video on how to make this exact base um, with these beautiful stairwells and whatnot. I just didn't include the centerpiece because I didn't like the pals using the central one, but they, but for some reason in this specific base, 
on this specific world. Oh, I didn't add a foot of that piece or a triangle to that piece. Oh, that's on the inside. But for this for this specific base in, in, in its entirety, they get stuck right here, going up and down these stairs on the outside. They only like to use the inside stairs, which is kind of aggravating because I really like them using the outer stairs because it just looks a lot nicer and cleaner. But you see what I mean? So yeah, there. Look, let's see if we can spy on them. What are, the, what are those? Mills? Or is that my crushers? It looks like my crushers. So they are transporting my fragments, which is good. And these guys are generating electricity, ready to transport. Yep, 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 here they are. They're spilling out now. My legendaries are spilling out. And, um, yeah, this is my base. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace!